What's around everyone? This is going to be your oracle card reading for the full moon in Sagittarius. What's around Sagittarius, sun, moon, and ascendant? How are y'all feeling out there, right? Ah, <sighs> Take a breath. I think that was your last oracle card reading. Let's just take a moment to breathe. You are in Gemini season, uh, which is your opposite. And you are in the full moon, which is... Is playing out exactly how it's created. Um, Sun and Gemini opposite um, Sagittarius, right? Because Gemini and Sagittarius are opposites. Zodiac signs. So this is just playing out how the Zodiac wheel is playing out. And it's an opposition between the two um, since it's a full moon. So this Oracle card is going to let you know how to deal with the ops. <laughs> Sun in Gemini, Moon in Sagittarius. And while I'm giving this reading, um, there's a trine and, and uh, water. Um, and your, well, Sagittarius, the ruler, well, what Sagittarius came out of is Jupiter energy, right? And Jupiter's in Aries. Okay, so, <laughs> and let's talk about Mercury, all right? Since we're in Gemini, Gemini was created from Mercury, right? So, Mercury is zero degrees in Gemini, along with the sun. So, Mercury is home. <laughs> Mercury is home, okay? So, let's see how this is playing out um, in the cards as an advice to you of how to deal with the ops emotionally. <laughs> Let's get started. What's around, Scorpios? This is your oracle reading for the full moon in Sagittarius. So, happy full moon to you. And you got a powerful move, which is number 15. So, with this card, even if it's a full moon... And during full moons, we kind of relax and chill out since it's waning. But this is air energy. We're in Gemini season. So it's time to move. Don't overexhaust yourself. But it's time for you to move. Okay, make that move. You've already pondered around. Uh, you already felt about it. You already thought about it. So instead of sitting on it, make that move. Okay, so it's time to take action, you know, just like how the air moves, you know, it's time to start using some of that movement energy in order for you to start seeing um, changes in your life and empowering changes and you like things that's going to really make a difference, you know. So remember that if you take one step, that's better than taking no steps at all. You know, and it's something that you are, are inspired to do. It's something that you, like I said, this has already been thought about, felt about. You know, it's just about that action, you know, and being true to yourself when you actually take that action. So all will be better and well when you start taking action. Okay? It's a very exciting time with Gemini uh, season because it's all about um, seeds growing and sprouting and now blossoming. So, this card is asking you to do that as well. You know, it's time for you to blossom. Have a wonderful... Oh, and also, you know, be really um, particular about it. Start putting things down on schedule. Do you know what I mean? So, even if, like I said, there's just one thing a day that you're working on this or that you're putting your energy into this or your, folk, or your intentions are going towards that, that's better than nothing at all. So, start penciling it in um, in your time slot. Have a wonderful day and night. Scorpio sun moon in the sentence during this full moon in Sagittarius.